I enjoyed the hangover burger, a burger topped with an egg and housemate chili. It was solid, but I know for a fact I could take this concept from a 6 to at least an 8 with my own version of it. Now it's time to see if I can back up all of that big talk. First, we're going to start by pouring two cans of tomato soup into our slow cooker. Then we're going to add one can of water to help with the cooking process. And now, just to piss off every Texan watching, we're gonna add beans. Because fuck Texas. With the exception of Houston. Houston's cool. But for the rest of Texas, here's to you. Next, we're gonna add in all of our spices. If you want to prove you're an actual ungovernable anarchist, feel free to add cinnamon and unsweetened chocolate to make this into Cincinnati Skyline Chili. You absolute fucking lunatic. Once all your spices are in, let it sit for four to six hours. In the meantime, we're gonna go watch Happy Gilmore with our co-host. After a few hours, you're gonna start browning your meat. We're going to start with a pound of ground turkey, as well as around one pound of ground beef. As this cooks, we're going to throw in some more seasonings just to increase the flavor. Once the meat is brown, pour it into the chili and let it cook for about another hour. And as always, feel free to add in more seasoning if you feel like it. Once the chili is done, you're going to turn your slow cooker from low to warm just to prevent any burning. Before we get to the most important part, we're going to make sure our hands are nice and clean. Next, we're going to start forming our hamburger patties.
once formed, give it a little bit of seasoning before throwing it into the pan. Then you're going to let these cook to your desired level of doneness. Life pro tip, if you poke a hole in the middle of it, the juice that comes out will tell you exactly how done it is. If it's clear, it's well done. If it's bright pink, that means it's good to go. And if it's red, that means it's pretty close to rare. If you mess the burgers up because you're both a hack and a fraud, you can always just pull a Wendy's and chop up the burger and throw it into the chili. As we get a quick redo on our hamburger patties, we're going to throw our bougie brioche buns into the pan so they can get nice and toasty. Then we'll wash our hands again and wash our plates so as to be ready for the burgers when they're done. These may have ended up being a little undersized, but you know what? They still get the job done. Throw some cheese on those bad boys and let the heat from the burger melt the cheese. Next up, we're going to fry ourselves an egg before putting everything together. Our final step is to pour the chili over the burger, put everything together, and enjoy. Thanks for watching.